Hello everybody, and uh, well, another month, another channel update, uh, and well, I guess, what can I say other than it's pretty nice to have a little bit of content every now and then. Um, I do want to give you guys another update, um, at least about what's going to go on this month since we are approaching the 17th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Uh, and as you guys saw in a previous video of mine, I did make a little bit of a statement, and I do intend on keeping my word about it. Um, but it, that's that's something a little personal. I don't really want to get into that. Uh, but there is something I do want to tell you guys, which is a bit of an announcement. Which why the fuck not? Why why not announce it during my channel announcements thing that I do every freaking month? Uh, which, speaking of which, I hope you guys have been enjoying these uh, monthly updates about the channel because it just really depends on what's going on and things things just change all the time. Uh, first and foremost, I've moved pretty much all of my content from, well, I didn't really move, I'm basically just switching from YouTube to Twitch. Uh, and the reason why I'm switching from YouTube to Twitch is because YouTube is being a pain in the butt. Uh, they're hitting me with, uh, or they've already hit me with a content strike um, for spewing hate speech or whatnot of a, on a video that I did like a long time ago. Um, so, you know, it just really, or no, not a long time ago. It was a video I did... Um, back in January, I think, um, or s something along the lines of that. It was a video that I was um, <clears throat> talking about that happened sometime in January, and that got flagged for hate speech. So I'm just sitting there like, oh, shit, here we go again with YouTube claiming that I did something, even though I didn't. So you know what? YouTube can go suck my dick for all I care, because I'm completely over with YouTube. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to completely stop my content. I will continue to try to post as much content as possible. I think really the only thing that's uh, not going to be put on my channel is um, all of my gaming stuff. That will just be dedicated to Twitch um, altogether. I'm dedicating all of my gaming energy to Twitch. If you see me, or if I'm if I'm playing it, it should be on Twitch altogether. Um, and I'm also in the middle of playing uh, Call of Duty: War at War. I was playing it all weekend long. Uh, I didn't get to finish it though, which is a shame. I kind of wanted to try to finish it as soon as possible, just so I could like move on to uh, Doom, because I was getting in the mood for Doom. Spider-Man's coming out in a couple of days, so in the nearest future, I will. Uh, I do intend on getting a PlayStation 4. We might stream Spider-Man um, in the uh, upcoming future. So, so we'll, we'll most likely get something along the lines of a setup or whatever um, to basically just do whatever. But uh, other than that, uh, last month went pretty well with... Um, moving everything over to Twitch. We're also doing the Roundtable Gaming Podcast uh, on Twitch on a separate channel called Roundtable Gaming Podcast. If you guys want to check that out, give a, uh, give a, a follow or whatever. A uh, link to that will be down in the description below. And in case you guys don't know, we we um, have a uh, our newest member who's been a part of the Roundtable Gaming communities for, I want to say, like a few months now. He was introduced in the previous podcast, and he was, uh, again, with uh, this most recent podcast, which should be uploading right, like, as I'm sleeping, along with this video. Um, hopefully, by the time this video's out, the podcast should be out, or on its way being out. Um, but yeah, um... Podcast is doing fairly well. Uh, our next one's going to be around uh, the twenty second or twenty third. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna shoot for the twenty second, but you just never know how things might be. 
another thing, another problem, I guess I should say, is that my left ear is... I, it hasn't gone deaf. I could still hear things out of my left ear. It's just... I think it's clogged up with a bunch of earwax, so I'm going to try to find some eardrops to kind of get all that gunk out so I can hear a little better out of my left ear because it's actually starting to affect me a little. So, you know, just some things uh, to look forward for. Also, her, uh, at the Atlantic hurricane season is... Um, ongoing right now uh i think there's a storm right now out there uh hurricane gordon i think is the name of this storm uh is at the um, southern tip of florida so it's moving its way towards the uh, northern bit so you never know i might i might go live talking about the storm uh, or whatnot and if you guys don't know i am a big weather person uh i am a little huge on weather. I like to look or you know look at weather, kind of plan, predict, see where all this weather is going. Especially hurricanes. Hurricanes and tornadoes are probably not my specialty, but just mo the most interesting things I'm interested in right now. Um, also coming up this month, which I will um, give you guys a reminder, probably a week in advance, um, that there is a national. Uh, test of the emergency alert system coming uh, this month. I think it's on the 20th. I'm not entirely sure. I'll give you guys like a week in advance warning on when exactly it's going to be because Heat Cats, um, Heat Cats has a video. I think I'll uh, I'll link it down in the description below of of that video as well. Um, or at least I'll try to remember. There's a lot of things I got to link down in the description below, but um. He cats uh, basically posted a whole video summary on what the test is going to be, um, the areas that it's going. To, it's it's a national test. It's going to cover all 50 states, uh, and uh, I think Puerto Rico. Um, so, um, just really depends. So again, I'll have more, a little more information about that in the uh, coming week or weeks. So. Just really depends on when that when that happens, and um, I'll I'll see if I, if I can like try to get either that day off or um, record off my radio because I think it'll play on SiriusXM. I'm not entirely sure. I know it's it. Uh, I know SiriusXM has done tests before because I've caught a few tests, um, not on camera. I've just caught them. Um, d j just doing, you know, whatever. But um, I don't know. To be honest, it just really depends on what happens. Um, so you know, I'll keep a I'll keep a good eye out for the um, for the test. But you know, it, it just really depends at this point um, what happens. And then of course, um, this will probably be uh, the time where I'll be studying this test, to study the results of the test, how did I get the test, um, and I'll probably record off of Fox 5 since I can't um, get Channel 2 for whatever odd reason, so I'll probably record Fox 5's end, um, and um, I'll see if I can't also record the radio as well, see if I can't get a a good test off the radio. I'll probably use uh, WS, uh, yeah, uh, ninety five point five, which is WSB talk radio, news talk radio. Um, so it'll it'll probably just do its thing. I'm, I need to make sure to disable my phone's um, cellular data so I don't get interrupted while recording. Um, I think my Noah weather, uh, my Noah weather radio will go off. I'm going to also warn my parents about it the day of so just just to let them and kind of everybody know that hey there's a national test that's going to happen at around 2 p.m. I think on on the 20th or 22nd I can't exactly remember which day again it'll be in the video down below and I'll give you guys a warning a week in advance okay okay moving on to the big big 
big announcement. I ordered myself a drawing pad. It was a cheap, um, I think $30 drawing pad, uh, or 20, $25, $30 drawing pad. Um, I have been getting inspired to want to do animation, and I, I've just been looking up ways on how to kind of get myself started. And you guys might not know this, but I'm not entirely the, the best drawer in the world. But I do like to draw on my free time. I just don't have the paper to spare. And slash or the pencils. So I was thinking, well, why not just get like a drawing pad? Well, because every drawing pad I'm interested in is like $500 or more. So, got to start out cheap. So you, I might start doing these animated videos uh, in the upcoming future, kind of, kind of like what um, the odd one now, uh, the odd ones out, and uh, Jaden Animations. You know those guys do those uh, story time animations. That's that's something I've I've been kind of interested in. Something that I'm more or less getting inspired to do. Uh, now, so it's just it's something to look out for. It's something I've been remotely interested in for a uh, for a little while now. So be on the lookout for that. If you guys aren't interested in it, you don't have to watch. It's just something that I would like to do. I mean, it might not be the the thing that will get me known or something, but I don't know. It's just something to kind of throw my hat in there. I'll try it out to see if I'm decent at it or if anybody likes it but you know what at the end of the day all that really matters is that I'm enjoying myself everybody enjoys um, watching the videos and it's not too much of a pain in the ass because it just really depends at, the, at this point so um, other than that um, this month will probably just be a nice easy month uh, like I said uh, this uh, this year is the 17th year of the September 11th attack. I might talk a little more about that in the coming days. Um, I might just hop live on Twitch uh, the day of to kind of talk a little bit about it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I know I know Nico's been streaming a lot, so Nico uh, Nico's channel will be. Again, in the description below, and um, I'm ca I'm trying to uh, persuade Spike and Luna to be streaming as well because I know they got a decent enough internet, or at least I know Spike has great internet. I'm not entirely sure about Luna. I think he has decent enough internet to stream. He's just not one of them. He he's not. I think he's actually kind of shy. I'm not entirely sure. He's he also doesn't really have that many subscribers as well so I'd really appreciate if people stop or w would start uh, subscribing to Luna so that he can hopefully get inspired to like push himself to stream and do other things so <clears throat> you know it just really depends um, on what happens uh, I don't I don't expect anything much to happen this month, like I said, I'm just going to finish up Call of Duty World at War, and I might, uh, I might start playing Doom. Uh, I have been playing a little bit of Fortnite, so um, I am interested in uh, playing Fortnite. Um, I'm also playing uh, a little bit of Clone Hero uh, to actually give you guys a bit of context. This is. The guitar that I'm using, it is um, the Warriors of Rock's Axe guitar for the PlayStation 3, um, and it's of course wireless, but it's the only like good guitar that I have at the moment. I have a wired guitar and another one of these Axe guitars, but uh, they have some uh, problems with it, like um, I think it's overstrumming problems. So. I need to <clears throat> fix them at a eventual point, but you know, 
it'd probably be best if I just buy a brand new smacking guitar, but there's like no, there's really nowhere to buy these guitars, and that's, that's really kind of a shame. I, I know, um, Jason Paradise and, uh, friends have been, um, trying to get, a, uh, like a, a company or so to try to make more Guitar Hero, uh, guitars for Clone Hero, of course, or just for PC in general. It, it, it'd be great to see, um, you know, the, uh, excuse me, real guitar. To see more of these, um, of these, uh, of these guitars, or at least these type of guitars, um, that have, the, uh, these kind of little adapters that you can basically just plug in to basically anything. And, and, and these came, uh, um, I think this special adapter came with, uh, where's my controller? Came with this controller specifically, and I already have uh, I already have it plugged in, but this is basically the same adapter. So, yeah, just look at it. It's it's basically the same, except it doesn't have the little fucking thing in the middle. But it's pretty much the same fucking adapter that goes into the same controllers. So if somebody, some company wants to uh, make a controller design... Please, please, please keep this feature on the controllers if you're going to make wired controllers. Because these are probably the most useful fucking adapters ever. And they're so fucking useful. So, if anybody's going to make make wired, uh, these uh, wired controllers, I'd really appreciate it. So anyways, um... Like I said, I don't expect much from the month. Uh, I know I'm, I'm also working on Death Eater videos as well. Uh, as you've seen, uh, the mask has just been going about. And um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, th I'm trying to actually branch out uh, in a way. I haven't really contacted anybody, but I'm kind of leaving uh, my videos as a way of branching out. Or at least the videos that involve the mask. Now I know lately about the terrorist attack. I used the the or the uh, shooting event that happened. I used the mask to kind of talk about it. But in the videos that involve me talking about random things um, <clears throat> that lead into um, talking about my old uh, friends and YouTube partners undead crazy ninja and crazy sheepdog those are the really like videos that is really what i'm bringing back the mask for and, and i'm i've been kind of working with that i have a few videos i'm working with right now um and i haven't really uploaded anything because i wasn't entirely sure on when i should like spew these out but i think I think I'll just spew them out whenever uh whenever the timing feels right or I guess whenever I just finish them uh, because I don't know I don't know when I should bring out all one death eater and you know I am using uh the old costume with um an added trench coat which is clearly Kitty Toe's trench coat so So anyways, um, fall's coming on us. I think this month is the month that um, summer turns into autumn or summer turns into fall, whichever we're, uh, whichever time of year it is, which means pumpkin spice is back, which means things are going to start cooling down. So you might want to, you guys might want to start getting your torches and pick pitchforks and yell at the sun to stay warm, goddammit. Don't you dare fucking 
take this 80, 90 degree weather away from me. No. Well, it's 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 gonna happen eventually. And I'm working um, I'm working with uh, or at a job that that's probably gonna like feel like I'm gonna be shit almost every fucking day. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, man, I really don't want to go to work the next day or or something like that. And I was just thinking to myself just now, man. I'm really not ready to go back to work tomorrow, um, mainly because I, I was I was enjoying my three days off. Uh, um, streaming and, and whatnot, but no, I gotta make my money. I, I gotta make the do, so I gotta go adult, so, you know. And actually, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be allowed to work tomorrow, so, because um, I just got my medical card um, replaced because my previous medical card expired, so I had to had to go get another DOT physical done, so I gotta get that shit in by, or I gotta get that shit in tomorrow morning, like, right when I wake up. I'm probably gonna set the alarm for 8. In fact, I'm probably gonna go straight to bed, like, right after I uh, hit the stop button. But you know what? It doesn't entirely matter. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I have to talk about. Um, if you want to know anything else, I'll be on Twitch. Again, the links to everything will be down in the description below to my Twitch, to Nico's Twitch, to Sp I guess Spike's Twitch? I'm not entirely sure because he doesn't really stream that often. Uh, to the Roundtable Gaming Podcast Twitch. Um... And to Heat Cats' video, again, will be down in the description below. So, yeah. Uh, if there's anything else I want to say um, for the uh, hurricane season is for everybody down in the s most southern states, be in anywhere, Florida, on the east coast of America, or on the east coast of America, and on the... Uh, southern little um, coast of um, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and the bit of Texas. And, of course, just everywhere that can be impacted by a hurricane. Please take time now to prepare an evacuation. It cannot be helped. It happens every every year or yeah it, it happens every season um, that somebody goes unprepared and they're stuck in traffic well I don't give a damn when the news says when you should evacuate you should be evacuating three days ahead of the storm and honestly depending on where the path up here in Atlanta is probably the safest bet you can really have so try to get as far as McDonough and then you're pretty much riding out the wind which would be at that point tropical storm force winds or tropical depression force winds so really at that point just make it up to McDonough and you'll be fine <clears throat> or, or along those lines like McDonough uh, Montgomery uh, Or, no, oh, even Macon. You can probably go as far as Macon and still be good. Uh, Montgomery, maybe a little, like, somewhere between Montgomery and uh, Birmingham. Um, I don't really know anywhere in Mississippi, so I guess the best place I would say is Jackson. Um, Louisiana, I would say somewhere along the I-20 um, the, yeah, along the I-20 corridor, because I was getting ready to say I-20, I-59 corridor, but that only goes from Birmingham through Mississippi. 
So I would say somewhere along the I-20 corridor. I don't exactly know what's theirs because I don't remember. And then, of course, Texas. I would say Dallas is probably the safest bet. And then probably just along there. Just really depends. Because I know, I know Houston got hit really, uh, like, hit with torrential downfalls by uh, Hurricane Harvey last year. So, so really, um, as long as people get to a safe evacuation place, yeah, I'll be good. So, you know, plan out an evacuation in advance. Start as early as right now to plan where to go just in case. I know where I'm going to go. Right here. Get it? Because I'm already out of the hurricane evacuation. You get it. No, but you don't have to go very far. Like, here in Atlanta is probably the best bet you can get. So... Find a hotel. Call in advance. Call and see if there's rooms available. If there's if there's not any rooms, call other places. Keep calling until you find a room and book for like the next week, I think. Or no. Yeah, it, it would be for like the next week because you're calling... Um, you're calling three days in advance, or no, you're, yeah, you're calling four days in advance, you're leaving three days in advance, or yeah, you're, you're leaving the next day, and then you'll get there, um, either the same day or the next day, which is two days before landfall, or before the storm hits that specific area, and then you'll basically just ride out the rest of the storm, uh, even if, uh, your area doesn't take a direct hit. So that's just uh, basic knowledge for you. Uh, so anyways, I got nothing else to say. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for us uh, 600 plus subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. I'm, I'm trying to get um, more than uh, uh, 600 this year so hopefully we can try to get that number up a little bit before the end of the year hopefully we can get we could probably see maybe 7 or I'm just going to say 7 because I'm not expecting much I usually don't uh, it just really depends um, Again, the podcast is going to be on the 22nd or the 23rd. You guys will, uh, if, if you follow me on Twitter, I will post information about that. Probably when the time comes. Um, and, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I really do appreciate everything that's been happening. Uh, there's been some rough, rough goings every now and then, but you know what? Things happen. So I'm just going to let things happen then. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this, hit me with a like. And uh, if you like my content, why not subscribe? Why not watch the rest of my video or my crappy videos? If you like a certain content of mine, I would highly recommend you watch my other content. Just to give you a feel on what this channel is about because I do a whole lot of things other than emergency alert system mocks, um, talking, uh, rants, the mask, um, and gaming, and the podcast. I, I do pretty much anything. And that's, that's pretty rare for a channel to kind of like do everything at once. But you know what? It's something I really like to do. It's something that has, been, that has inspired me from countless YouTubers um, with nine years of 
being one Death Eater and you know being on websites like Roblox, Blog TV, YouTube, Twitch, um, so on and so forth. You know, I, I got Blog TV to thank for my beginnings. I got YouTube to thank for um, basically my origin or, or I guess just a, a source where like all content of one Death Eater is right here. And now it's kind of it's kind of changing over the Twitch so I guess I gotta thank Twitch for um, being a secondary source. And I gotta thank websites like Twitter um, mostly so I can let you guys know when my next content is out, so, you know, it's really appreciative. It's very useful, and, you know, in the coming years, I hope I get recognized enough to, you know, go to or be recognized at conventions or be featured at a convention or even hold my own um, event. That's like an ultimate dream of mine. I would love to hold some kind of an event at a convention, like at Dragon Con, like hold some kind of a, a conference, or even do like a, a random Death Eater of the Unknown at a uh, at Dragon Con, or at MomoCon, or at any other convention, at PAX, or go to VidCon, or, or go to E3, for fuck's sakes. That's like the ultimate dream is me and the pals going all the way over to LA to E3. I would definitely bring everybody with me. We would have such a great time and uh, we of course would do uh, kind of recorded reactions or even a, a live stream or something. We'd we do something. But anyways, um, I've dragged this video long enough, I better hit the stop button before uh, I run out of space, because I don't have that much space left, for whatever reason. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been ha uh, have been enjoying this. Again, leave a comment, or leave a like, leave a sub, and leave a comment, and of course. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be live every single week. And, yeah, every single Saturday and Sunday and holiday off work um, on Twitch, playing games at around noon or 1 Eastern, um, just around that time. If I'm not live by noon, I'll be live in a, in, in a little bit. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and bye-bye.